Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're starting the dump trailer build. Um, I'm not sure what we've gotten ourselves into yet, but we're gonna get rolling on it today. We still, we're still missing a few pieces. Um, so we're by no means gonna get anywhere, make hardly any ground today, but we're gonna try to get some things laid out. Maybe even, you guys can't even see me, maybe get the axles laid out uh, where we want them to go. Just kind of plan for everything. I order, I order material and I go to pick it up and they accidentally used it for something. Um, so anyhow, we're still waiting on a few pieces of uh, channel and some other stuff, but anyhow, we got the axles right here we went and picked up. Um, these are eight lugs, 7,000 pound Dexter, Dexter axles. Um, I got them local here where I live. I used to work at a trailer place back when I was in, right out of high school, just for a little time doing this, doing that. So got them from there. Um, but yeah, this is what we're using. The yard, they already came pre-assembled. I don't know if they pre-assembled them, put the springs on them. I don't really know, but got that done. And we picked up some metal. Like I said, we're missing, um, we're missing three pieces of six inch channel. They, they had ordered a bunch in, in the whole bundle, um, six inch and five inch. And they were supposed to use five inch for whatever they needed. They wound up using the six inch. So we're some pieces short, but they're gonna drop deliver it um, in a couple days, so no harm there. We, like I said, we, we're not gonna get the six inch channel is gonna be for the main frame and uh, and the tongue and everything. So we can do some with what we have, but we'll see. And then this tubing here, um, this is what I'm gonna use for basically everything um, from the main frame up. So this will be the the floor of the dump bed. This will be the sides. This will be the the rear door. Every, basically everything. Um, it's, it's a good, you know, it's just two. This is two by four by eighth inch. It'll be plenty strong enough. This is gonna be a seven by twelve trailer. For those of you, uh, if I didn't say that already, um, it's probably gonna be overkill. And we're building this one off because it's gonna be a little custom. We'll get into it a little more when we start getting built and everything. But so for the floor, um, we're gonna be using three sixteenths plate for the floor, and then we have eighth inch plate for everything else. Um, you know, we're just beefing up the floor, just giving a little extra strength. It'll help strengthen up base. I mean, everything of the trailer, you know, especially the floor, obviously. But it'll help, you know, strengthen up. You know, the cylinder that's that's gonna be pushing it up. It's just gonna it's just gonna make it better all around. Not to mention, you know, better. Uh, better resistance against you know sharp objects or heavy objects falling into the trailer you name it so that's what we got going there um let me show you guys the dump cylinder here so here is the uh the actual lift cylinder um friend and i have been talking about this for a while meaning you know hey um i can probably fabricate everything i can probably make all the you know the lifts the lift system and do everything like that and i said i just need to go look at a trailer um and you know, just get an idea of what's going to work and what's not, that kind of thing. Um, but anyhow, he was—he's been looking around, and he wound up finding this. This here, um, it's a whole kit. So this is a 10-ton, 10 10-ton 10 lift cylinder. Um, it has the pump and everything already in here. Has all the reservoir, you know, everything minus the battery, hoses, fittings, you name it. Um, and then it comes with all the mounting stuff. So we have I was gonna make my own hinges and then but I didn't realize this already came with some so These are the actual, you know, the, the pivot for the dump. So that's cool um, But yeah, so we already have Everything's already included in here. These here pieces Will mount some, one way or another, but I need to get it um, I need to see how high this thing goes, you know in order to know where I need to place it on the trailer but this is what we got going. Um, it should be a lot easier rather than uh, than trying to build something. And honestly, it wasn't. I didn't think it was too bad a price for you know what it is. I mean, this thing is honestly massive for this trailer. But um, like I said, a friend of mine, he's like, I don't want there to be a problem. I just want whatever I put in there. I want it to dump. So anyhow, we got a we got a 10 ton lift cylinder there so we're gonna get rolling we're gonna start by uh, cutting some six inch channel like I said I only have a few pieces of that but that's what we're gonna start with and then we'll try to get the axles where they're gonna go um, and then we'll have to wait on some more six inch for the tongue and everything but at least we can go ahead and get the you know the main frame laid out and get set up with that and get rolling on this so let's get started also I uh, forgot to mention just hang around to the end of the video and we're gonna go over uh, giveaway details um, I got an idea 
and you guys are probably either going to hate me or like me for it. But anyhow, just hang around. We're, we'll go over the give, giveaway details and what we're going to be giving away at the end. So stick around. We'll get back with you. So as I mentioned before, we're doing a 7 by 12 trailer. But the actual mainframe underneath, I'm cutting at 11 feet long. So we have two 11 footers for the sides. And then uh, on the trailer, they're 95-80 axles. So 95 hub face to hub face and 80 inches center to center on the spring perches so we're gonna we're gonna cut mm, we're gonna go 80 80 center to center on this channel <clears throat> we're gonna go because this is this is two inch wide so we're gonna go 80 on the center but technically it's gonna be 82 inches uh wide on the frame so that's what we're gonna do with that we could go um seven feet overall length but it only gives us over here like an inch and inch and a half inch and three quarter at the most uh between the uh back and plates on the axles so we don't necessarily need to go seven feet wide we could but we don't need to um you know an extra two inches ain't gonna hurt nothing so um or two inches less i should say so anyhow we're gonna we're gonna go 80 80 to center on the frame but overall that uh the actual frame itself will be 82 inches outside to outside so that's what we're gonna do with that um but yeah Okay, everyone so we got this done laid out here um, before we go over where we're gonna put the axle um, this is honestly uh, probably the most critical part is getting this frame uh, square one side to the other so um, I'm probably uh, a 30 second off between edge to edge but let's see if we got here so I'm just going to measure, because this this right here might be cut wrong, so I'm going to this, the edge right here. So we're about um, 155 and just under, you know, 9 sixteenths, just a hair there. And then if we go to the other side, and then if you see right here, we're pretty daggone close. Um, so anyway. Um, we're close. This this frame here, this side here is pretty straight. Um, this one here has a little bit of a bow in it. So before we, you know, weld everything out, we're going to try to fix that, put a couple of supports in here. Um, that lift arm is going to go, it has to go below the axles because it's already, has probably a foot tall. So it's got to go in front of the axles. But this is the most critical part is getting this frame square here. Um, before I weld them out either I'm gonna go ahead and put some X braces or some cross braces in each corner just tack them on so they don't move but because everything bridges off of this you know um, it's a little harder it's it's hard to put the hangers on and then try to square from the axle to the tongue so as long as you have this perfectly square I don't say the P word I don't say the P word very often perfect but as long as it's perfectly square um, you can measure off of this to your tongue so you get center to center and same for here um, you know wherever your wherever your center hanger goes wherever you want to put your your axles or your center hanger you know you measure back center there center there you shouldn't have an issue 
um, you know, going going like that. So that being said, so how this is laid out, there's obviously springs on the axle, and you have an equalizer in the middle that sits like this. Okay, these are roughly four inches apart, right here, center to center, four inches right there, and the springs are around. They're about 25 inches um, on center. So if we spread this out here. So that's close enough. We got that roughly there, okay? So just pretend this is where this goes right here. Let's replace this. So about there, this here goes the other way, but just for sake of time. And these shackles here, they go looking up here. <clears throat> All right, so you want a little bit of, you know, you want them to be able to flex. They're going to flex no matter what, but your leaf springs always have a little flex. But we're about 25 inches from here, but we're going to give a little more. Instead of being this being perpendicular with, you know, each side, we're going to kick it back a little bit. So we're going to go 25 or uh, so from here, we need four inches and then we're going to go a little more. So we need about 29 and a quarter, 29 and a half. But whenever you lay it out, make this one your center you know make this mark this center wherever you want it okay so wherever you want your axle centered make a center point and then measure from center over here 29 and a quarter and then from here 29 and a quarter so that way this is your center point and if you guys don't know you know you're supposed to have 60 percent of uh from your load so we're gonna have a 12 foot trailer um so figure from here to 12 foot, 60%. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to attempt the math on camera. We're probably gonna move this back as far as we can. Um, the more, the longer the trailer is, the easier it is to maneuver. Um, yes, it's a, obviously a longer turning radius, but it's, all, it's a lot easier to back up. You don't have a lot, you have a lot less pivot in the trailer, so. But anyhow, so we're probably gonna move it back um, a bunch, being as it's a dump trailer, it's gonna get loaded in the back the most or it should anyway but anyhow we need we need to leave room for that cylinder there to go up here I don't know if you can see you know in front of the axles because it has to drop down below it's got to come down below this right here so anyhow uh, I'm rambling at this point but we're gonna go ahead and get everything uh, braced in each corner try to straighten out this frame right here get everything square check her measurement again and uh, let me start hang, putting her hangers on. I'm gonna, you know, I do have the gantry, but I'm not gonna mess with it. It's it's just as easy to just weld them under here and then that way I don't have to flip the thing over. But you could, if you wanted to, weld them up like this and then roll the trailer over and do it that way as well. This isn't really uh, how to build a trailer, but it's pretty straightforward, guys. Just make sure everything, you uh, measure a bunch and, and you ain't gonna have no problem, so. If you guys are wondering why I turned this one around like this, um, these, I just, it's a little bit, in my opinion, it's just a little bit stronger this way than notching it out. Um, and this is where these here pivot arms are gonna go, whatever you wanna call them, for the dump. And I wind up putting some, <clears throat> I'll put in some plate over this, you know, however long. Uh, and then we will weld this directly to We'll weld that directly to that plate on the back, like so. But that's why I did that. I just think it's a little, you get a little more weld um, and everything involved doing it like that instead of notching it out. Just my opinion, but we're gonna go ahead and tack these all on and uh, keep going. Get it. 
Okay, got a couple extra supports uh, welded in there. I put this couple pieces of uh, channel, and there's a piece of tube under there to help straighten this side out. And let's see if we can see, maybe, maybe not. It's pretty straight. Um, I'm like maybe, maybe a 16th off in the middle. So that's good enough. I might add in a little brace uh, in the middle here just so I can take these off. We'll see. But um, right now I've got figured, this is the where the center of my axle, uh, the center of the axles will go. So from measure from center, let me go to the other side. So uh, as I was saying, there's a lot less crap in the way, but this is where I have marked for center of the axle. Um, so this center hanger, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know find out mark center of this, and then I'm gonna put this right up here, like so, tack, tack. Before I do that though, I'm gonna measure from this center, go out 29 and a quarter, and then go back 29 and a quarter, and that's where these will will fall. So one other thing I'll add, this is just, just what I did though. Um, so when I, when, I, when I made these, I cut this front piece 82 inches. So in reality, it's like 82 and a half, whatever. Thereabouts, close to it. Um, some places it's a little bit under. Like back here, I think it's a little under. So yeah, like it's 82 and 3 eighths there. Now, these, these here are 3 16 thick. So what I'm basically going to do is these are going to line up flush with the outside of the frame. So if you're looking down, they're going to go flush, and then that'll give us um, that'll give us our 80 inches center that we need for these here. But that's just what I did. Like I said, if I wanted to make them make it seven foot wide, I could have moved these in an inch and tucked them underneath, and I would just put a little whatever I did, just put a support under on top of that to run up to the top of the channel there. But you get the idea. So we're making progress, but like I said, we're low on channel. So probably what I'm gonna finish tonight is just get the axles under it, probably hung. I don't have any wheels and tires yet. Um, we're still tracking down what we want and what we wanna get for that. So we gotta get, eventually get those for, for my friend. But yeah, we're gonna try to at least get the axles put under it. And I think I might have a spare or two laying around that we could just throw on it, get it on the ground, and then once we get our other material, we'll work on the tongue, and then we'll figure in for this. Um, I know this is a lot of information, but just for those that may want to do this, um, this lift cylinder, let's see, it's a power hoist. Um, it's like a 520. Where's the paper at? This, this is the model that, uh, that we got here. So I'm not going to go over all this with you guys, but basically... Um, we're looking at something like 40, 43 inches on center of where, basically where the pivot point, the front and rear pivot point is. So I left five feet in here and I want to get it as far back as I can. So that way we'll have the most angle we can get with this thing and dump a little easier. So that's why I left this area in here. I would put another support, but that's where this, that cylinder has to go somewhere in here. And then once we get that in, then I'll probably run some extra supports this way and crosswise and so on and so forth but gotta get that in first and then we'll figure it out but we'll keep working at it
Okay, so got the axles uh, tucked in here into place, um, and I got them more welded out than they were. But anyhow, before I went ahead and welded everything, I'm like, you know, I should probably check this one more time. So I went and checked it, and I'm like, okay, um, something's not adding up here. You know, I'm like, I'm like a quarter inch off on one side. I'm like, um, so what the heck did I do here? Um, so. I'm a little off my brackets, but I'm not so sure that's the issue. But if you look at this, um, these axles or these springs, I should say, are ZQ China blah 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 text trails. What that says right there. So these are both the same, but these are not the same. These have a different band on them. Is is what those have a heavy duty band. These have a little cheaper cheaper band on them. So. Um, I'm not sure that we got the right that I well I just measured I know this they're not um, these are a little bit longer uh, believe it or not so I think that's part of the issue so I'm gonna start with that and if not I might have to move um, one bracket so good news and bad news uh, I got the spring swapped around so each axle has the same springs as this uh, you get the idea um, and before I took them apart, I measured just real rough. I measured, you know, uh, from here to here to see what center was, and they were they were off nonetheless. So flip the springs around. Now from this measurement from there to there is good. Uh, so that need, needed to be done, but um, I still messed up because I'm not sure how exactly how I went wrong, but. I'm like at the most quarter inch off from this line maybe not so much maybe 3 16th I don't really know but I'm off nonetheless so I am probably gonna have to move um, one side front and I'm gonna have to move one side and I marked this side first and then that side over there when I pulled the tape who knows I, I, might, I might not even been thinking and anyhow so yeah Long story short, measure twice. It got me. It got me. We're done for tonight i fixed the issue here um i had to move it back ever so slightly it was like it was anywhere between a quarter and a eighth inch off you know any given uh any given measurement so this was my mark um who knows what i did from this side to that side and how i came to yeah who knows but nonetheless it's fixed now had to cut them all off move them back that side stayed um also, though, whenever I took the change out the springs, because they were off, like I said, I took off this side U-bolts, and, and yeah, I couldn't get them off. I had to use the liquid wrench, because I don't know why or what happened, but as soon as I started taking them off, they just, they seized up. They locked up. You can tell I was, uh, I was yanking on it pretty hard there, or I should say... DeWalt there was doing his job but other than that I gotta get a new set of U-bolts for here and that'll be good but uh, but yeah so we're done with this project for tonight just like I said we still gotta wait on more material because it got taken up so once we get material we'll fixate the tongue on here um, friend's gonna order the tires wheels and tires and then when they come in we'll get this thing on the ground and the tongue and all that good stuff and then we'll We'll start fabbing up the, uh, the actual bed. So, anyhow, guys, it's looking it's looking better and better. Um, just real quick, like I mentioned before, the overhang is going to be a little more, and we'll go we'll go once everything's here. But the wheels, like I said, we want to have we don't have the wheels as far back as we can just to help everything track better, steer better, um, and all that good stuff. So. Anyhow, so this is where we're going to leave it for tonight. Um, now let's talk about the giveaway. To those who don't care, see you guys on the next one. To those that uh, want to 
stick around and get entered. Here we go. I'm giving away a truck. You heard it here first. I'm giving away a truck. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, okay, what truck? You're, you, guys, you guys aren't ready for this. I promise you, you're not ready for this. But we're giving away a truck. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're giving it away, boys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know you guys are probably hate, hate me right now. Um, at least I didn't clickbait the title. Am I right? One of you guys mentioned that uh, I should give away one of my trucks. And I'm like, you know, if I had the means to, if I had, you know, loads of money, I'd be like, I don't, you know, it wouldn't be nothing but a thing. I'd give it away in a heartbeat. But I'm not made of money. So therefore, it gave me, I started thinking about it. It's like, well, what, what could I do? And I'm like, well, I'm going to give away a truck, but this is it. So, um, all right. So to those that want to get entered, uh, last time I did it on Instagram. This time we're going to do it on YouTube. I don't know all the details yet, but on this video, just comment down below. Leave a comment. It doesn't matter what it is. Just leave any comment, and uh, that's how you get entered. So I'll pick. I'm probably going to pick like five, um, five people, five winners. First place, if you want to call it first place, is going to get this truck, the truck that I picked out for you. Uh, so that's first place, and then anywhere second to fifth or whatever, um, I'll just give you a just. Tell me your t-shirts, whenever I, you know, announce whoever won, um, I'll give away a random t-shirt or sticker, just kind of whatever. So that's the giveaway details. I don't know, we'll, we'll let this go for a little while and then whatever, but like I said, all you gotta do, just leave a comment down below. Uh, if you, feel you wanna tag somebody or share it with somebody, do that too. But, uh, but anyhow, just leave a comment and you guys are gonna get entered to win this truck. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks guys.